the 15 car he drives for Stake and Shake Honda for Ray Hall Lanigan Letterman Racing. Welcome back to the program. Good to see you, Graham. Ray Hall, how Thank are you, man? I'm good. Thanks for having good me. Good to see you, Once man. Again. You look very happy to be I here. I am happy, man. This is a good day. <laughs> I always love having you here on the show, even though you um, uh, are here to make sure that I, um, I eat it. Uh, I, 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 I had my Michigan pride, puffed the chest out, knew it would be a tough thing for Harbaugh to take down a, the Ohio State in his first shot at it. And, I know, um, and I saw, I'm here to pay my bets. Like, I saw the end of the of the last segment, yes. and, and I legitimately I got off the plane on our honeymoon, and I was thinking the entire I really was because you had tweeted me right before saying, you know, the day before saying it's about to go down, and Happened. so the whole time I'm thinking, <laughs> man, this is gonna be miserable if I have to do driver introductions wearing a Michigan hat, or if I got to put anything Michigan on me. Yes, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a tough day. So when I saw that final score, it was pretty. Pretty awesome. It wasn't even close. I mean, no. by the time that you were maybe not even past the border of the continental United States, going to wherever it, you were going, you were going to Fiji, right? It was looking good. Oh my gosh, the thing was a the thing was a wrap. Very it was, fast. It was looking so you, good. you were you were you were in a rocking chair at thirty some that's, thousand feet, regardless. That's for sure. All right. So what do you have for me here? What do you have? All right. For me so. Here? Well, first of all, we got a little hat for you. Michigan, but that, Ohio but that's, State hat. It's that's white. not going to be enough, though. So. What do you mean? Well, hold on a minute. So. So I had to, I reached out to my friends at the Ohio State University in the athletic department, and they sent you a proper Custom. game jersey. I mean, you know, it's uh -huh. not like something you can go buy off the shelf. This yes. is what they really wear. So is just it? for you. And I tried to get Urban to sign it for you. But, you know, we had this little, like, athletic director versus Coach Harbaugh sort of fight. Not yeah, that went down. So I was told, hey, right now we can't be doing any, oh, you know, so they, Ohio wow. State-Michigan fights. They're so. like, let's not pick a fight anymore in public. Yeah. But that's okay if Urban so, said. So I got you a jersey. You know. so, okay, so here's a, a, red, the a red Ohio State number one, thankfully without my name on it. Although I do I have I tried to one. get your name too, and I that was. Mike Doss, you remember Mike Doss? Yeah, yeah. He, he came on NFL Total Access once and brought a Ohio State jersey with my name on it. So that would have been the second one of these that I had. I don't, I don't see it in here. No, that's no, no, no. no. <laughs> the, they just, the Michigan oh, one's okay, up there right yeah. there. So wait a minute. Now, when we. You and I met the last time. It was an item. It's not items, plural. Like, I don't so, need to be so like, I would like prefer, hold on a minute. Just because in your world, you deck everything out with we have to. all we sorts have to. of stuff. Yeah, I mean, you've got 15 logos on your shirt I right know, it's now. too many, actually. Just because, so that doesn't. <laughs> flair, Rich, flair. Guys, do I, I, I'm not putting on both. Let's yes. take a vote. Who, you, who you, thinks he needs to put on both? You can't weasel out of this. No, come on. You can't you know, weasel out of you this. You know that everybody here is For sure. Oh, at, least, at least the, the jersey's got him. And your timing was right. It's about, driver inch is about 30 That's minutes. That's what I'm so. saying. Now, flight. for the duration You're of this interview, too? Easy. For the duration, you have to wear it. Getting off easy. He was going to do 30 minutes in a Michigan hat. Here goes the jersey. Okay, here comes the jersey. This is amazing. Breaking out in hives. This is, and by the way, this is great. The best he's ever looked. This right is here. fantastic. Red looks yeah, so good. Tight on you. Fit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> tight fit. Oh, yeah. No, throw the lid on. Yeah, because it's a tight fit, so there's no holding call or anything like sort of that. <laughs> oh, my God. I, thank goodness yeah, many people adjust consume it. this show on the radio. Oh, and you're you can't adjusting see this. it. No, it looks oh, great. Stop yeah. taking pictures. <laughs> No, no, so more. It, suddenly it's a paparazzi. It's like the only person not on the set here is Harvey Levin all of a sudden. <laughs> okay. Holy crap. That is awesome. Oh. Look at that. So good. <laughs> Turn the music off. We didn't say there's music and a hat and a jersey for the oh, 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 Rich. Well, uh, oh, Graham, Rich. thanks for coming on. That's all we have time for. <laughs> That's all we got time for. That would for be here. enough, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Jersey and a hat. This is so good. <laughs> Brockman. Why are you trying to get Coach Harbaugh back on the show? He's, he's going to come back on oh, okay, to, help, to help cleanse the palate. <laughs> <laughs> got to make this house clean again, to use the poltergeist <laughs> phrase. Hi, Graham. How you been, man? I'm You're great. Good? I'm great. How Thank do you. I look to you right now? You look awesome, man. <laughs> A I'm white impressed. Ohio State hat with that red, that awful red O, and then this. I'm impressed. I will say this, Rich. You're looking buff. Like you're yeah. kind of the jersey's making you look jacked. Well, you know, I've yeah, been, I've been working out. Yeah. I've been working out lately, and thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad you're here, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> he has no idea what to do. I don't even know what to do. You, so you let, let, no let's. How about this one? Okay. Let's say you're the defending champion of uh, uh, of of. Long Beach, just throw that out there. Yep. And you are now, you now have to give the oh, 
trophy to whoever's just beaten you. You have a problem with that? What Spieth went through yesterday? You have uh, an issue with that? I, I mean, I think, yeah, that's a tough, that's a tough deal. But I think it's tough in the way that he went down, right? I mean, it looked, I think everybody thought it was over. In fact, up until that time, I was, I watched all day yesterday, and I yeah. thought it was kind of yeah. boring a little bit because it was like there was nobody was really able to make a move on him. He was right. four or five shots ahead, and then all of a sudden it just, yeah. It looked like my game. I mean, I, I could have played that hole just like yeah, that. Yeah, I know but, that, but uh, that's the amazing thing, too, right? You know, I mean, thank, thankfully. You feel bad for him, though, because he seems like mm -hmm. such a good person, you know, so from, from an outsider's. I've never met him, but, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to, to have all the success he had, particularly last year, to handle it um, with the, the humility that he did and stuff was awesome. And then to see it go down like that is, is tough. But he's 22, right? He's 22. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're. But I haven't seen the but, end of but him. But people are already saying that too, Graham. You know, it's just like, how is he going to handle this? Is this is his suddenly his career going to go down the two? Yeah, I don't see that. Well, I mean, what's the toughest loss you've ever had? What's the toughest? Well, I loss? mean, probably Texas, 2012. I was leading with a couple laps left, and just made a, a mental, you know, error and brushed the wall on the outside. I mean, we were hanging on. I mean, in those times, uh, mm -hmm. it was t the tires would degrade like a lot, and so I mean we were driving the wheels off the thing, but just brushed the wall. And at that time, it had been since 2008 since I had won, so I'm like, you know, thinking all I want to do is kind of get that monkey off my back, mm -hmm. and uh, and so brushed the wall, leading by a pretty good margin, and uh, you know finished second, and so pretty pretty frustrating. But uh, you know you I mean what do you do? You got to bounce back, and and uh, you know in that case it was my my fault, and obviously in golf, who else can you blame but your but yourself if right. you make a mistake? So it's difficult, but he's young. I have no doubt he's going to be yeah, no here for too. many, many, many years to come. I have no doubt too. And and in terms of uh, being embarrassed in public and having to bounce back from it, I now know personally <laughs> exactly <laughs> how to deal with that. It's very tough <laughs> having this interview right now. I got to tell you, like, because I mean, I know. God, I can't. I, I'm trying to just turn yeah, you away. You keep from seeing the, the TV screen over the here. Flash, you see the yourself. Of yourself. Holy <laughs> crap! So. Tell me about the Long Beach Grand Prix, Graham. Long Beach Grand Prix. Tell me um, all about it. What's going on with your world? It's going to be awesome, man. Yeah. It's uh, 42 years, I think, in Long Beach. The right. race has been going on. Mm -hmm. It's one of our biggest crowds of the year. I think last year had 183,000 showed up over sure. the weekend, which is pretty good. Um, but it's our third race on the uh, Verizon IndyCar Series schedule this year. It's a big year for us, leading up to the 100th running of the Indy 500 in, in a month's time. But uh, this is going to be a big one. It's a big weekend for us in particular because drive for Honda. This is Honda's hometown, you know, mm -hmm. uh, or at least in the, in the States it is. And so uh, yeah. it's a big weekend. Hopefully we can get you out there to yeah. come enjoy some racing with us. You've been kind enough to invite me and the family and, uh, I, you know. It's fun. It's fun. I think what, you know, what this race does so well is it's been here for, for a long time. It's right downtown in Long Beach. Uh, through the city streets, but there's so many activities for the kids, you know, for families and things like that. And so, yeah, you kind of, you come to see the main race of the IndyCar race, but there's a lot of other support series run around, so plenty of racing, but a lot of activities in the convention center for kids and oh, plenty of stuff to do. So it's yeah. always a great time. Graham Rahal here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. You've got, let's just talk about Ohio State to hell with it. You got what Urban had, what, what's going on with Urban? Yeah, you hear so about the Division this One, the I, Division I One Council this. deregulated electronic communications in football, uh, cross country track and uh, uh, track and field and swimming and diving, and it had already been out uh, in basketball where coaches could unlimited, had, have unlimited text communication with players that are juniors or older. Um, Urban was a proponent You're of the You're talking about high school players, High school right? players, yeah. yeah. Urban was a proponent of the rule because he said it's not fair to the kids or their high school coaches for them to come out to 100 text messages. Well, the NCAA took away that rule today, and here's what Urban had to say huh. uh, about it. Let's listen to Urban. And I'm not saying what's right or wrong. I don't really know, but I just, if you always think first about players, just like someone told me they passed the texting rule. What, that's the most ignorant thing I've ever heard. You know, they're because they, they can't manage the coaches, they can't police the coaches, okay? Fire the coaches that do it. Fire them and make the penalty so absolute out of control that they won't do it. You'll never coach again in major college football if you on purpose text someone. Okay, move on to the next rule. There you go. What do you think? Does that mean that he thinks Harbaugh's texting a lot of people? So should we, well, should we go there? Harbaugh's we sleeping go over at kids' it? houses, if that's not weird enough, right? <laughs> I mean, come on. Right. This not dude's weird. This guy's weird. He's strange, huh? <laughs> and honestly, I met Coach Harbaugh, and he was one of the nicest guys I had met. But yeah. some of the stuff you read just kind of blows your mind. But texting, I don't know. I mean, 
Actually, the guy who got that jersey for you, which you look really good, by the way, oh but he he's <laughs> the one who does the uh, player personnel and stuff like that at Ohio State. And uh, it's interesting, I had dinner with him and talking to him about all the rules and regulations and recruiting and stuff. Yes. I don't even know how these guys keep up with it. It's it's insane. Or but, maybe uh, they just don't. They just don't They just don't keep up. They just come to us? They just, no, they, no, they just go ahead and do it. They just do whatever they, they want. Well, please, yeah. Yeah. Maybe that'll catch up. We'll one find day. out. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> to you guys, maybe. No, <laughs> we'll stop see. it. But we did, Harbaugh did get the kid who he, uh, he slept in his house, right? That was the kicker that went to Michigan instead of Penn State. Yeah, Quinn right? Norton. Well, Quinn Norton. Yep, yep. It was a kicker. The, the traitor. The Benedict Arnold of it was the a 2016. Yeah. Slept over it. <laughs> Man. Wow. What's the recruiting right. That's harsh. I guess hey. they really needed a kicker, huh? Hey, if this guy station. boots one through the uprights in Michigan 23, Ohio State 20, we'll be talking about that. <laughs> we will. We will. We Hunter, Graham, we but I, I'm not oh, so. Oh, I, I, Look, I think there. you guys are getting better, but I, I'm just still not nervous yet. I don't need the backhand. I'm not nervous From you, yet. you have handed me a hat and a, and a jerk. By the way, okay, now do we do this every time? Every time. Anytime there is something, Michigan and Ohio State plays, we now have a benchmark set. That's fine, yeah. Okay, because you have now basically decked me out like I'm yeah. one of your cars. So you want payback. All right. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's coming. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'm, I'm fine. And with the it. question is, is when? It's I only feel... a question of when, not if. Yeah, yeah. All right. It is. And so I appreciate you saying that because, uh, you know, all the Ohio State fans say, well, it's been forever and ever. It's never going to happen again. I was, well, I was going to say, we won like the last 15 straight. Oh so okay. honestly, at some point, you guys got to so win. So it man. will be a hat for the in duration of the. I'll wear it all of driver intros, which driver introductions, yes. from the time you like walk up to the stage and do the parade lap yes. Yes. and everything else, it's probably 30 to 40 minutes. I mean, it's a, well, maybe even more than that. It's a long time. Well, now you do realize it's more than just a hat now, it's a jersey and a hat. Thanks to you, No, but sir. hold on. But here's where we draw the line. But I, I can't do that because we have sponsors that pay to be on here. And when oh. I'm doing a parade lap or intros, I have to show my sponsors. Otherwise, I don't have a job. What, if I, got a, what if I got a Michigan jersey with all your sponsors on it? What <laughs> that if we could removed, work. We can, we can what do if that. we removed that, that, that your people? You we know, can do that, your actually. Your people send me a list of all your sponsors. All right, we'll do that. And and I won't get a call from whoever the athletic no, from that's Ward deal, Manuel, the athletic director, saying, "Well, we need to stay out of the papers. We no, can't I have think, any of this I think stuff that's, right I now." I think that's a good deal. I like it. <laughs> Plus, it'd be, it'd be kind of a cool souvenir to have. So, if it ever happens, okay, we'll do it. So that's how it's going to work. Yeah. So you're going to get the hat because you have you you have said it. I mean, this is my house right now. I know. You came I know, into my house, and I'm wearing this hat, <laughs> and this jersey. I know. I I know. The fact that look, I've I've done a lot of difficult interviews in my career. This is number one because I can't I can't think straight right now, <laughs> because you know why I became dumber. I so, became... Oh <laughs> man, oh man, that is cold. <laughs> that is cold. I don't know about that. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Well, um, did you see Letterman? Did you see the pictures of? Letterman? I did see Letterman, and what, what, um, what's going on with him? I'm really not sure. I really don't He's know what's like, going okay, on there. He's just like, okay, I'm not on TV anymore, I, so I'm just not shaving the, anymore. I mean, everybody's seen the beard. The beard thing's been going yes. for the last couple of years. It's steadily getting bigger. Yeah. But the uh, the shaved head and I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, he didn't even, I mean, he's looking straight at the paparazzi. There's no. Yeah, right at the paparazzi while he's running. Proudly wearing Ball State. Yeah, he is. Volleyball, chirp, chirp. I might add. Yeah. Yeah, volleyball. Where did that come from? I don't know. But anyway. He represents yeah, all Yeah, no, I, I don't know. I'm hoping, uh, we haven't heard from him or seen him much this year, so hopefully we'll get him out here to Long Beach this weekend. You never know with Dave. He'll kind of show up when he wants to, disappear when he wants to, he'll call us on a Sunday morning saying he's coming in. And Right. So we'll see, but. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I was gonna. I gotta ask him about the, yeah, the look. Yeah, please the new pass look. it along. Pass it along uh, to me too. Uh, Graham, thank you for coming on the Absolutely. show. Absolutely. You bet. Uh, for TV audience, if you can stick around for one more segment, we'll show you flying around with the Thunderbirds. Absolutely. That was no neat problem. stuff. And then, and and I will stay in in gear for that. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Uh, thanks for coming on, Graham. Rayall. Anytime. Music. I mean, this is just not right. None of this is right. Okay. <laughs> no, it's great. It's amazing. I think all of it's wrong. <laughs> Thanks for coming on the show. Absolutely. Brother. Thank okay, you. Okay, you bet. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.